And welcome back to Let's Play Lost in Blue 3. Oh, the fire went out at some point. Uh, did we run out of fire? We ran out of firewood. Okay, I was going to go to the ship today to get some more copper wire, but this kind of takes priority. Alright, so let's go get some firewood. Uh, I'm going to need inventory space, though. Let's just put as much stuff away as we can. We have two more slots. Don't need you, don't need you. Do I need anything else? Uh, I'll come grab the fire story when I get back. Why do we still carry fur? I don't need fur. And I guess I'll just carry the meat with me. Yeah, inventory space is a problem right now. So then. You know what? Let's take advantage of the situation. Let's go grab everyone some water. And then send them all out on tasks. Because anyone who stays home right now is just going to get unhappy because of the cold. Alright, so actually, you know what? We will go to this ship at some point. But along the way, we'll just grab as much firewood as we can. James is obviously going to go get food. But the other two, I'll just send to get firewood. That is the problem with only relying on them to get you firewood. They're not very good at it, and you go through firewood pretty quickly. That would explain why everyone was still asleep when I got up. Alright, let's see. How's our water supply doing, actually? Uh, James, I don't feel like carrying you over there. So, uh, just drink the water I have on me. It's water. Alright, how are you doing anyways? Huh, they don't seem very unhappy about the fact that we don't have a fire. Then again, this area would be pretty warm compared to like a cave. Uh, go get... You are on food duty. Eric, you on the other hand, you are on firewood duty. And then we'll just have Claire go get firewood too. Uh, she needs water though. Whoops. Let's just grab a bit of water from here. Claire, you can- oh, I forgot to give you the water first. Oh well, you can have it when you get back. Uh, go gather some firewood. And we'll go get- uh, we'll get going soon too. I never noticed how low on firewood I was. Then again, we've pretty much been eternally running low on firewood. Oh well. Alright, first stop is the ship, and then I guess I'll head over to, like, maybe the plateau area. Or not the plateau, the, uh, quarry area. There's usually firewood over there. And maybe at some point we'll head over to the first beach. Actually, wait, I'll cut through here to get to the first, first beach. Maybe I'll find another water bottle. It would make carrying water easier. Uh, crap. Firewood hasn't respawned yet. Yeah, we're going to need to go further south for firewood. Let's just go check for copper wire first, because that's even more rare. Uh, we could just eat some paradise herbs if we really need it. But we should be fine on food. Alright, let's see. I think it's been three days since the last time I went on a copper wire run. Hopefully it's been. Otherwise, there's probably not going to be anything there. Also, I just realized something. When you miss the jump, does it still take stamina? I'll find out later. For right now, let's just get over there without fainting. I do wish that every action didn't take like a point of stamina. That actually adds up really freaking quickly in this area. Alright, copper wire. We oh wait, we got some. Uh we got one, but I think that's all I needed to fix the next stage of the plane. Alright, it was worth it. 
No more, though. Probably have to come back tomorrow for the rest to respawn. Not sure why they're out of sync. Let's get going and find some firewood. Maybe some food, too. We've been doing nothing but eating, like, meat since for the last few days. And by few days, I mean two weeks. Maybe a salad would be nice. No, that, would, that wouldn't be nice. It doesn't restore that much hunger. Which is weird, considering how filling, like vegetables are and for how easy they are to get uh can't jump across that gotta go the long way let's head over to the first beach actually uh, i'll cut through the base though i don't want to go through the jungle with this low stamina but yeah let's go to the first beach see if i can find any more bottles maybe that one bottle that was like stuck out in the middle of the ocean no, you don't. You're fine on food. Actually, speaking of food, let's just rest for a second. Might as well convert all this food to stamina. There we go. It might have been smart to rest inside the base. Because the sun does drain your stamina faster than, like, being indoors. Especially on hot days like this. All right, let's get up. let's get inside. Off to the plateau area. We haven't been there for a while. Also, I've kind of completely forgotten which mushroom uh, gave me infinite stamina. That would be extremely useful, actually. Oh well. All right, so we want to go down this hallway over here. We're actually pretty much done with the base. You would think there would be more copper wire here, but nope. Has to spawn in the old abandoned ship. Or underwater. No idea where it comes from. And then once we get some more firewood and restart the fire, I can go fix the plane again. I think I only needed four, right? I'm pretty sure it was only four. For this part of the plane. Eventually we're going to need those plugs too. And I think maybe the fuses? I'm not sure about the fuses. Uh, let's see. Any firewood in the area? There's a stick. There we go. I missed. How are we doing on our stamina? We're at 50. We're fine. We have enough to get to the beach. And back. This trip will be so much easier with, like, two guys, though. Just because, uh, where is it? We can just climb down here, like, directly. Oh, well. It's not too far. Plus, it'll give me the opportunity to find more firewood. Uh, let's see. I think there was a tree over here. It's been so long since I've been here. Let's grab some water, too. Nope. Missed the water. Actually, wait, I think there are trees down here where we can grab some firewood. If not, I'll go to the ones up there. There we go. Also, wouldn't it make more sense to use, like, a log as firewood? Those last quite a while. And it's a very slow burn. Twigs burn up really quickly. Oh, I'm out of inventory space. Uh, is there anything I can drop? Oh, wait, I think I'm still carrying, like, fur. Yeah, let's get rid of that. And I need to get rid of that, too. Nope. Alright, that should be enough firewood for now. Let's go see if we can find a bottle. Actually, wait, can I just use a shelf in a cave I don't live in? If so, I might drop off that, uh, oil drum. Let's see, bottles. Wait, no, that's not a bottle. Oh, wait, there it is. Oh wait, I need to drop something. Uh, what what can I drop? I don't want to really drop the meat. Then again, we're just gonna get more anyways. Let's just eat it. No, we can't eat it raw. Yeah, meat's more common than firewood at this point. Thank you, James. All right, two water bottles. That'll make storing water a whole lot quicker. 
Alright, I'm just gonna stop by the first cave real quick, and then we'll head for home. Uh, how's everyone doing? Everyone is hungry, but surprisingly hydrated. I might fix the play in the morning, actually. But we have some stamina. Oh wait, can we just put down the water bottle? Or not the water bottle, the uh, oil drum. Yes, we can. Also, can I use the shelf? Uh, I don't really need the spear, honestly. That's a water bottle. I want that back. But yeah, technically we don't need the spear. Considering I never hunt. Also, do we have any firewood in this area? Nope. I think all the firewood gets transferred. It would make sense. Also, there's a train down the street. Hopefully, that's not too loud. Alright, we're done here. Let's head home. It's already 4 p.m. Yeah, I know you're tired. You have enough energy to get back, though. I do wish I remembered which mushroom was uh, infinite energy. Then again, we're going to bed soon anyway, so that wouldn't be too good. You can't sleep while you have the infinite energy mushroom on. I don't think you can even rest with it on. Because it just makes you so hyper. Technically, it's poison, but who cares? What if eating all those mushrooms would have any long-term side effects on these guys? Probably. Alright, let's go cook some food, and then we'll just head to bed. And in the morning, I'm gonna go directly to the plane and see what I, what I can fix. Unless I need to drop off all this firewood and restart the fire anyways. So let's just head back to the break room. You know, there are other rooms we can sleep in. Like, there are actual beds in these rooms. We don't have to sleep on these random cots. Alright, just put it away. Oh, I'm not gonna have any room for James's food. I'll just grab it later. Alright, what's our firewood situation like? You guys suck at getting firewood. Whoops. I only need one. Uh, oh hey, when did you get a pigeon? Let's get this fire started and then we can cook. Yes, I know how to start- actually wait, have we never used a fire starter in this space? Or in this playthrough? I guess not. James, let's cook. You have the meat. Make it with me. Oh, you're only carrying a piece of lard. Okay, fine. Uh, you didn't get that much meat today, actually. Oh, wait, I don't want to use that. That's fresh. Let's use the wolf meat. That's like a day old. We're not that low on food. We have lard. Also, why is Kumiko cooking in the sink? Hey, bro. Oh, hey, hot pot. Eh, not bad. Oh, speaking of hot pot, uh, let's just drop off our water. And time for bed. If I can actually get to the bed. There we go. Oh, right. Eric's still carrying that abalone from earlier. Whoops. And James still carrying the lard. I'll grab that later then. Whoops, I meant to save. Oh, it's really windy outside. Alright, let's grab the copper wire. And head to the plane. Oh, wait, I don't need this anymore. What I do need is something went bad. No, that's the medicine. Never mind. Just the same color as something that went bad. James, let's go get you some water. And I guess I'll just take you with me to the plane. It's on the way. Actually, no, we have plenty of water stored up. Then just drink that for now. 
I'll just refill it when I get back. Anyways, James, go get some water, or not some water, some food for me. I know you're low on water, but I'll get you some later. And everyone else can just stick around for now. I'm gonna go get some water and to go fix the plane so we can finally get off this island, although it's not gonna be for a while. Plane takes a lot of materials to fix because it's a plane. Kind of more harder to fix a plane than to fix like a door. But let's go see what materials we'll need for the next stage. Probably gonna be more copper wire and maybe a plug or two. I don't remember the fuses are used for something else other than a plane. Also, it's windy. Alright, let's just find the spot where we can fix it. There we go. Found the first try this time. Uh, let's repair it. Where does this go? Like that? Oh yeah, like that. Sometimes these soldering points are kind of weird in where you fit the wire. Uh, that one probably goes like that. That one goes like that? Huh, this repair is actually pretty simple. And last one. Uh, that? Yep. Poke, poke. Alright, that's two parts of the plane fixed. Uh, what do we need for the next one? We need two copper wire and two plugs. Alright. Well, the copper wire we can probably grab today, actually. And we already have the plug, so... We can fix this today. But not this episode, probably. I think I'm going to end it here, so next time on Let's Play Lost in Blue 3, further plane repairs. So till then. Also, I need to get people some more water. <laughs>